Today's passages remind us of the incredible depth of God's love and the transformation He offers to those who call on His name. Whether it's a barren land brought to life, or a soul made new, God's grace is never lacking. We see His strength and faithfulness in Isaiah, His boundless mercy in Ephesians, His blessing over the nations in Psalms, and wisdom to live by in Proverbs. In our struggles, hardships, and even failures, God's hand is ever ready to guide us back into His plan. Before we begin, we go to our God in prayer. Thank you Holy Spirit for your presence as we pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, we thank you for your abundant mercy, love, and grace. Open our hearts and minds as we reflect on your word. May the Holy Spirit guide our understanding, transform us by your truths, and draw us closer to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hello, child of God. I'm so glad you've joined us today as we walk through the Word of God together. The scriptures we are exploring today will not only reveal more of God's character, but also provide us with spiritual insights for our daily lives. Let's journey into these powerful verses and see what God has for us today. Isaiah 41 verses 17 to 20 and 43 verses 1 to 7, God's Faithfulness and Redemption. The book of Isaiah is filled with God's promises to his people, especially when they are in the depths of despair. In Isaiah 41 verses 17 to 20, we witness a powerful image of God's provision for those in need. Here, God speaks directly to the poor and needy, those who are thirsty and searching for water. The land around them is barren, but God promises to open rivers on barren heights, turn dry deserts into pools of water, and plant trees where none should grow. These miracles signify God's unwavering faithfulness and His power to bring life and restoration where none seems possible. These verses are a powerful reminder that no situation is beyond God's intervention. In our lives, we may feel as if we are in a spiritual desert, where nothing seems to flourish and hope seems distant. But God is the God of impossible situations. Just as He transformed the barren land in Isaiah, He can renew our hearts, our minds, and our circumstances. His hand is mighty, and His timing is perfect. Moving on to Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 7, we see a personal and intimate promise from God. He declares that He has called us by name, that we are His. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. These words are a powerful declaration of God's protection and care. Even in the midst of trials, God walks with us and ensures we are not overwhelmed. These passages remind us that we are never alone. Even when life's challenges seem insurmountable, God's presence is a constant, unshakable force. He promises to redeem and restore us, calling us His own, with love that transcends the worst of our struggles. We are His, and nothing can change that. Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 10 and 2 verses 11 to 22, made alive in Christ by grace. Ephesians chapter 2 brings us face to face with the transformative power of grace. In verses 1 to 10, we see a vivid contrast between our former lives and our new life in Christ. We were once dead in our transgressions, following the ways of the world, but God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ. This grace is a gift, not something we could earn through works but a gift freely given by God because of His love for us. These verses should fill us with gratitude. God's grace reaches us even in our darkest moments. When we feel unworthy, guilty, or weighed down by sin, we can rest in the knowledge that Christ has made us new. We are not bound by our past mistakes or failures. Through faith in Him, we are restored and set free. And this freedom isn't because of anything we've done, it's because of God's incredible mercy and love. Continuing in Ephesians 2 verses 11 to 22, Paul addresses the unity that Christ's sacrifice brings. Before Jesus, 
there was a divide between the Jews and the Gentiles. But Christ broke down the wall of hostility, creating one new humanity. We are all brought near by His blood, and through Him, we have access to the Father by one Spirit. This message is powerful in a world where division is often emphasized. The cross of Christ unites us all, regardless of background, race, or past. We are all members of God's household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus Himself as the chief cornerstone. His sacrifice has created unity, peace, and a family of believers who are one in spirit and purpose. Next Psalm 67 verses 1-7, God's Blessing on the Nations Psalm 67 is a beautiful prayer for God's grace and blessing, not just for the people of Israel, but for all nations. The psalmist prays that God's ways may be known on earth and His salvation among all peoples. This universal scope highlights God's desire for every person, every nation, to experience His grace, mercy, and blessing. In these verses, we see a picture of God's global mission. His blessings are meant to extend to the ends of the earth. As believers, we are called to participate in this mission, sharing His goodness and love with all people. God blesses us not just for our sake but so that we might be a blessing to others and make His name known throughout the world. Proverbs 23 verses 29 to 35, The Danger of Alcohol and the Call to Wisdom. Proverbs 23 verses 29 to 35 provides a vivid warning against the dangers of drunkenness. The verses paint a stark picture of the consequences of overindulgence, sorrow, strife, confusion, and regret. Those who linger over wine and pursue its pleasures end up with heartache and suffering. These verses serve as a powerful reminder to guard ourselves against excess and to live wisely. It's not just about alcohol, anything that takes control of our lives, be it substances, habits, or even thoughts, can lead to destruction. God calls us to live with self-control, discernment, and wisdom, to avoid the traps that lead to harm. In summary, today's readings remind us of several powerful truths, God is faithful to provide for our needs, no matter how barren our situation seems. Through Christ's sacrifice, we are made alive and united in His grace, called to live in unity and peace. God's blessings are not just for us but for the nations, and we are His instruments to share His goodness. Finally, we are warned to avoid the paths that lead to destruction, whether through substances or anything that tempts us away from God's wisdom. As we come to the end of today's reflections, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your faithfulness, for making us alive in Christ, and for the grace you pour out over us each day. We pray that we live as witnesses to your goodness, sharing your love with the world around us. Help us to remain steadfast in wisdom, avoiding the paths that lead to destruction, and instead walking in the light of your truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope these scriptures have blessed and encouraged you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more daily devotions and Bible studies. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, may God bless you abundantly. Shalom.